Hi there, welcome to Coffee with Coastal Cheryl, where I help you make your house a home. Today, we're going to the beach. Well, at least we're packing for the beach. Today, it's all the beach must-haves you gotta have. You can't go to the beach without a beach towel, right? I'm gonna show you five different brands, all very different, and I love every one of them. First, Wet Cat. If you're looking for a thin towel that dries quickly, that has a little fringe on the bottom, you know, these are often referred to as Turkish towels. You guys, these are so popular right now. Again, you can shake the sand right out of these. You can use them as a blanket because they're so cozy, so soft, and they're gonna dry that quick. Wet Cat. I have two different colors. I'll link both colors, but available in lots of colors. Second, Lane Linen. This is a pack of six. These are always best sellers. I think these are fabulous if you're looking for, again, one of these Turkish type towels with the fringe on the end and you want more pastel colors, these are really nice. The Wet Cat has bold colors. These are more pastels, but again, a lot of different choices. All the same qualities. Shake the sand, they dry quickly, just fabulous towels. Now, when it comes to Turkish towels, these are actually Turkish. These are made in Turkey. They're from Smyrna. They are the prettiest towels I've ever seen. Look at these, you guys. Look, I mean, look at this one. I bought this one, and I'll, I'll link both the colors I have. And uh, I just was, Astonished at the quality. This one is a bit thicker than either of these, but still drives very, very quickly. Looks stunning laying over your beach chair. I'm just saying, if <laughs> you get chilly, wrap it around your shoulders. I liked it so much, I immediately bought a second color, which I haven't even unwrapped yet. Isn't that just the best? Now let me show you two more. When we moved to Florida, I bought two kinds of towels. First, it was these, which I have to tell you, I still love. Nothing like when you're getting out of the water, you're freezing cold, and you wrap up in one of these really thick towels. So I still love these. Love the cabana stripe from Utopia. I'll link them below. Here's the problem. This is four towels. This is seven towels. So anytime that I'm going and have a lot of people that I'm lugging the towels, don't take these. I take these from Dock and Bay. You guys, these, look how little they are. They fold up like nothing. They don't have the fancy fringe. These are the kind, if you just wanna stack a bunch of towels quickly, put them in your bag, they're just the best. Lay them on the chair. They're gonna dry out real quickly. One of my very favorite towels of all time still. Lots of colors too. And unless it's the 70s, you can't go to the beach without sunblock, right? These are my three favorite. This one is Baby Mineral from Banana Boat, 50 plus. My husband uses this all the time. I bought this for the grandkids of all ages, and he loves it. Puts it on his face, says it's his favorite. CeraVe, this is my go-to. Ever since my dermatologist recommended it, this one is 50 and it's just, again, mineral-based. I use a ton of CeraVe products. I don't even know if that's how you actually pronounce it, but let's say it is. Now, this one is also from CeraVe. Could be CeraVe, I don't know. And this is 30, but what I love about this is it has a little bit of tint to it, so you can actually put it on your face for a little bit of makeup if you, you know, wanna look a little better. And of course you need a hat. My husband never wears a hat to the beach. I always wear a hat to the beach. This is my, I, you know, I'm trying to look cute hat. It's got a little bow in the back. It's so adorable. Also a string if you want to tighten it. Next, this one, not so cute, but I really love it. It's from Tilly. It's kind of got like, I don't know, cowboy, Australian vibe, also a string, and you can get it soaking wet. Soaking wet, wring it out, and it's fine. This one? You can also get wet, also has a string. Not the best looking hat, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? But what I love about this, it has an extra generous bill all the way around, so it really does cover up your shoulders and your face, <laughs> okay? The one I actually like the best, because I pull my ponytail through here, is just this plain and simple baseball cap. 
so easy, packs easy, and it's just, it's kind of me. All right, one last one. If you're looking for a really big visor, look at this thing. I mean, this is a big visor. Can you see that? What I love about this one is there's a hole in the back so you can pull your ponytail through. So uh, this is great if you really don't want to get your face sunburned or if you want to be like, you know, incognito. And how are you going to get all that stuff to the beach unless you have a beach bag? These two are my favorites. They both come in different colors. I don't know how I ended up getting both in the same color. I guess I just like this color. Here's the main difference. They both are huge. Look, both of these. Great big bags. Love them both. Both have zipper pouches inside. Now, here's the difference. This one just closes with a flap. So if you're at the beach and you still wanna reach in and grab stuff, you'll be able to do so with this. Oh, by the way, they both have these awesome, really soft, great big cotton rope handles, which don't cut into your shoulder. This one, the difference is it has a zippered compartment. The whole thing is zippered for a little more security if you're worried about things falling out, if you're worried about people reaching in. And there's a few more zippered pouches inside this one. Love them both. So really the main difference is do you want one just with the flap or with a zipper? And of course you need bathing suits and cover-ups. It's funny, the older you get, the more you cover up, oddly enough. <laughs> when I was younger, and these little tiny bathing suits, cover up, what's a cover up? Now, not so much. Okay, look, I love this. This is, you know, one trip to the dermatologist and you start learning to cover up. Look at this, you guys. Speaking of covering up, you see how the front zips? It, I mean, if you want long sleeves, this is it. I actually started wearing this kind of bathing suit when we were kayaking because you're just sitting there in the sun all day. And I love it for kayaking, also love it to, for the beach. The bathing suit bottoms that I wear most often, I know, look at these. I wish I could show them to you in person, but I can't find them. I literally was going to get in the pool yesterday and can't find them probably in the dirty clothes. Anyway, look at these. They just look like long shorts. They got like a little underwear, bikini, whatever you want to call it, built in. No sun's going to get through that. Again, love them for kayaking, but I also love them for long walks on the beach because you don't have to worry about so much sunblock. Cover-ups. This is my favorite cover-up. And you will, well, you probably can't see, but it is wrinkled because you guys, I wear this as a shirt all the time, all the time. Like a shirt, capri pants under it, shorts, pair of slacks, whatever, all the time. Now, I also have it in another color, which I really do wear to the beach, which is, you know, a brighter color. It comes in a ton of colors, but also a fabulous shirt. Now, for my granddaughters, the thing I've always done is get the rash guard bathing suits. This first one I've gotten for my older granddaughter. It's so cute. I bought it like three years in a row. Every year when they come to visit us, I buy them a new bathing suit and then they take it home. So I can't show it to you. And then the second one is for my younger granddaughter, but they're both in lots of styles and colors. I like the bit of rash guard, the cover up. I'm all about the covering up. What else do you need? Well, toys, of course, but look, you need something to put all the toys in. You guys, we love this. We put buckets, pails, put it all in afterward, take it home, literally hang it up in our garage. We use this as storage. Some of my other favorite toys to put in are this beach car. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think this comes in three colors. We bought this for our grandson, Noah. It goes through water, it tips over and keeps going. It goes up hills, goes through the sand. It is the best toy ever. I can't believe it's this affordable. Honestly, I loved it so much. Don't tell him I bought a second car that just in case that one breaks, which it still hasn't. Next, the simplest little toy, these little parachutes. You just wrap the little army guy in the parachute, you throw it up into the air, and then it floats back down. So cute. You can see little Emma here doing just that, another grandchild. I, I know, I have the best grandkids. Anyways, it's so easy and so fun and takes up so little space. I think they come six to a package, takes up no space at all. Next, create a castle. 
We actually bought this for my son-in-law, Dylan, one year for Christmas. He's so hard to shop for, but he loves to play on the beach with the kids. And we saw these castle molds and it's like, oh my gosh, these are the best ever. And they come in a variety of different molds. So be sure to check those out. And when you're tired of walking on the beach, now you gotta sit on the beach. You need a chair to do that. I'm showing you two. The first is this awesome gravity chair. It comes in lots of colors and you get a set of two. It has a little plastic table that clicks right on the side. You just tilt back however much you want. It's so nice. I think it's a little heavy, but I know my daughter Scarlett takes hers to the beach all the time. The second one, which is extremely lightweight, I mean, look at this. This is my kind of beach chair. It, it, it comes with a, can you see that? It comes a sling. You can put it over your shoulder. <laughs> Not great for the counter. Anyway, <laughs> I love these because we had the little beach chairs that are like this tall. So you're this far off the sand. Hubby 6'4", not a great thing. So we look for these. These remind me of the old fashioned lawn chairs because they're tall. It's an adult sized chair. Perfect for the beach, perfect for extra seating at the house. I've brought these to the dining table on more than one occasion, just saying. Now, if you want a little table to go with your little chair, again, I'm all about lightweight. Look at this, look how thin it is. There you go. Set it right between your chairs and your set for the beach. Or set it next to the bathtub, put an iPad on top of it, and lay in the tub and watch Downton Abbey for the eighth time. Just saying. Two coolers I love for the beach, but for different reasons. This first one from Clever Made, it has a pouch, it has the straps, which have nice you know, cushions on them, zippered. Lots of space, but here's what I really, really love about this cooler. Look at that. It just squashes down to nothing. So you can just leave this in your car and anytime on a whim you decide to go to the beach, stop at the gas station, grab some ice, some snacks, and away you go. The second one I love too because it's a backpack. Look how big this is. I'm literally, we're thinking about uh, traveling next year to Europe. I'm thinking about taking this as my carry-on bag. I think it'd be so clever. Has a zippered pouch, has backpack straps. You just wear it, right? It's got pouches on the side, pouches on the front, another zippered pouch in the front, but it is so handy. I love having hands free when I'm carrying the rest of the stuff to the beach. There's nothing better than sand between your toes. When it comes to the beach, I'm barefoot. But when it comes to crossing the hot parking lot, not so much. And some beaches have lots of painful shells on them. That's where these come in handy. Also for kayaking, fabulous. Very lightweight water shoes. I'm actually showing you two different brands. Hubby bought a brand, I bought a brand. They both are fantastic. We were planning on returning one, no, we both said, nope, I'm, I'm not returning mine. Lots of colors, very thin, very lightweight, so comfortable. I just realized I didn't even mention my Yeti. I never go to the beach without my Yeti. I'll link that below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you could subscribe. So until next time, have fun at the beach.